Alright, hey guys, sorry for the slow start because uh, I'm using my webcam, but this is my first video, and uh, I want to get some subscribers, and I'm a really talented artist, so I want to share my uh, things with the uh, YouTube world, so uh, for um, uh, the video I'll be drawing the Harlequin up, just like this, and uh, all you need is a pencil, blue highlighter, a black uh, colored lead, and a red gel pen. If you can't get these, just use a red pen. It don't make a difference. Anyway, um, you start with your pencil, and you just sort of make the head arc, and then take from the bottom where you want your head, and you just go back, come in a little, then go back again, come down, across. And then you start from your head again and going down for to make the okay. ah crap. And anyway, you come down to start your bill when you get there and then round it off, come in to the neck, go out, down, and then meet the two ends so you know what it's gonna look like when they meet. Back the bottom one off. Come around here and just make the shape you want and I would usually don't use this shape, so I need to go get an eraser. I'll be right back. Don't bother the color, it's just my sister's eraser. It also puts a fair finish on. Anyway, clean up. Put whatever kind of curve you want to it. Then just like break everything off. Like you know, there's gonna be this thing. So just do that. This is just the little brief thing. So I'm kind of rushing through it. And just back from that in his art, you just sort of put your eye. Sorry if it looks a bit weird. It just don't matter, it'll all turn out fine. Make a dot behind it, a little line. All this stays white. And across here, stays white. And then the bottom one goes black. So I'll color that in now. Just, oops, just in the corner so I don't uh, forget that that one's black and not the top one. Then right about here you come in, this one's white, same thing, this one's black, color corner in so I don't forget. And now you take your pencil again, come up here, go in here like this, and some funny shapes with it, and then bridge this off down here, white dot, come in, zig it out. And that off, come out, zig it over, come out, zig it. And you have a few little shapes here, two little almost teardrops there. And cut your line, your nostril, and you're ready to start the coloring process. I just start with my blue for the body, my blue highlighter. Just take it, go around the body. You don't need really need to do anything with this. For the head involves a little bit of uh, strategy, but I've been doing it for a while. I'm actually not that old, but you know. Going around all these little nooks and crannies in there. And, and uh, just letting you know, don't judge my uh, voice or anything, because I'm from Newfoundland. Don't want that to affect any of my. Uh, Subscribers or anything, your views. Just to let you know. Just sort of colored in. Get all that white down. Don't matter, just a few spots. Cause you touch it up after. This is just brief. Like I say again. Just color in these lines. Coloring all this that you got bridged off here. 
go around that little duck, stays white. And the head, everything stays white. You just want to get your red pan out. You just want to sort of bridge this about here and come up. Color again. And then, uh, I actually draw more than just this. I mean, here's a surf scoter over here. It's not very big, but I draw lots of stuff. And then, uh, also with your red pen, you just want to color in this little area down here, as, as you can probably see on this page. It's a very time consuming process. Especially using a pen that I've adapted to it now that I know how to do it. Do your outline a little bit first. And just sort of work your way up to where you need to go. And that's that. Now for the head. Again, like I say. Again, like I said earlier, take your highlighter, put a light little coat on there, get in around those nooks and crannies. I'll show you a few more drawings that I've done too at the end. Just so you know, I can draw on this, it's not a one time fluke. I'm gonna try to uh, upload some more videos, but uh, not 100% sure I'll get more out this week. But I might, I might do this some, I might do a little bit on the weekend. But and just take your black and slowly coat over it, very lightly. Just gives it that darker look, as you can probably see on this page again. Sorry if this looks a little messy to you, but because I'm actually kind of rushing through this. So I'm actually going to dedicate this video, my first ever video, to my cousin David Stone, and uh, not that long ago. Well, a couple of years ago now, he uh, passed away in a snowmobile accident, and everybody was just devastated. I don't want to really talk too much about it, because it still makes me sad. But uh, there you go. There's uh, Harley. Some people might call him. Squeakers. Whatever. Turn this right side up for you guys now. Here's the one that I drew a couple days ago. Here's the one I just drew. It's a search scoter there. And there's a page of uh, a bunch of dabbling, dabbling ducks. He's uh, got a green wing teal, a couple of mallards, a couple of hand mallards, a couple of bucks, a widgeon, and a sleeping mallard. You know, things like that. Pintail. Something that was next to it. Interesting. Nothing in that page. I don't know why, but I got a few blank pages. And I drew goose, Canada goose. And there's a barrel's golden eye and a common golden eye. And then this is a common meganzer, but we call them uh, gazers. And these are two black ducks in uh, two different uh, forms. And there's a sleeping black duck, or a mallard, do not matter, because it's off a lake. And then uh, these are red breasted meganzers, but uh, we call them shell boots here. And you can land. That's about it. So, uh, see you guys in the next video. Hopefully.